Houston, we have a problem. When I took the bolts out of the caliper, somebody had fitted a coarse threaded bolt instead of a fine threaded bolt. Now I put this axle on straight off a of Discovery because this was a V8 before with the earlier type CVs, you know the ones that you can't, well you can buy them but they're expensive and you can see what's happened eh? It's stripped out and it's it's only on the early ones it had the coarse threads like the early 80s so really be careful when you're taking the bolts out to get to get the right thread because the heads look exactly the same but the threads are different watch out for that anyway fortunately I have a helicoil set this is um, I've lost the ticket now I think it's M12 by 125 no, no I've lost it I've lost the uh, size of it now has it got it on here no but anyway what we do we're given oh wait a minute uh, is the tap. So there's the tap and it says yeah M12125 now that's the tap that we're using because we're going to put helicoils in. Now it's quite safe there's nothing to worry about but one little tip it's all it's got almost like a 10 millimeter head on there square well of course with the tap you can't get that in so by using a, an extension bar backwards you can actually get into this to tap it. Now I'm going to put some oil on it because it's only sort of cast cast iron type thing but we'll give it a bit of a go and it's not too difficult to do actually because it's sort of self-guiding as long as you get it all nice and square you'll be fine there we go now you see why you need the extension on here I've already got the top one in. Now you know, this is, I th I'm not sure if it's cast steel or cast iron this thing. Very difficult to tell. Anyway, it, uh, it taps all right. We're going to turn them back just to clean the, break the threads off so it makes a nice clean uh, cut. You should use, uh, you should use tapping oil, tapping fluid, I ain't got none. And you can see that tap's not working round, you know, it's not flipping around, it's, uh, it's doing its job. Take your time, don't rush, don't put a drill on here and whack it through, that'd be no good. I've got, I've had this set, do you know something? I must have had this set 10 years and it's the first time I've actually used it. I got it for a job and then we ended up changing the hub, you know like the, the assembly here. That's it, we're through. So to polish it off I'll just continue going through instead of pulling it backwards. Go all the way through, guide it, guide this tap. There we go. Take that out. Blow off your tap. Blow off your housing, and that's a beautiful thread in there. Next thing, we're going to use our tool. If you notice, if you haven't done helicoils before or thread replacements, the helicoil is a stainless steel wound special piece of metal that's got the thread I've just tapped on the outside but the correct diameter on the inside and they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes different threads 
They're really handy things because they salvage a lot of things. It, it drives by a tang on here. And when you're driving the tang, when you're driving it in, the thread will come slightly smaller. So, it, like, a, like a spiral screw. And it makes it really easy to get in. The tool has got a drive tang on it. it sits in there like this. But what we do, we take this off. These are really cheaply made. But you can see inside there, there's a bit of a thread. This is to guide it. Right, so when we wind this in, the, th the helicoil stays in place. And we've got to get that as square as we can to the uh, actual piece of metal that we're going to put the thread in. So I've got it like that. Now, this might be a bit difficult to film, but we'll see how we come on. Let's see if I can get it like this, look. So nice and square. And just keep screwing it away. Whoa. These are just the right size for here as well. Starting to come out now. You don't want any helicoil sticking out of this end. There we go. Then when it's out. Now it's in, what we can do is get a pair of pliers and snap that piece off. Now usually if it's in a blind hole you just get a, a bolt and you just tap it or a punch and just tap it through. And you take that piece off and throw it over next to our fence. And that is that. That is that thread salvaged. Hurrah! See? Now it won't come out when you take your stud out, because the action of unscrewing that spiral will lock it in. It's kind of clever, isn't it? So there we go. Helicoil. Right, calipers back on. I'm just going to talk it down to 82 newton meters. If I can get in. There we go. Well, they took it as so you saw me back there, <laughs> but it would take the, the helicoils will easily come up to the right torque. So.